Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's a my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be going to Longchamp's Boutique Store in Yorkdale as well as Longchamp's outlet store at Toronto Premium Outlets for a Longchamp Retail versus Outlet Showdown. But before we hop into today's Longchamp Double Feature, shop with me to both retail and outlet if you guys love Longchamp. Shop with me's luxury hauls, handbags, the whole lot of those. Please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video. And it helps with that pesky... YouTube Al Go Rhythm. What? How many times have I? So, first, uh, we are heading right into the Longchamp Retail Boutique that is located in Yorkdale. And the first bag that we are going to be looking at is the Box Trot. One of my favorites from the most recent Longchamp like releases. I really love this bag. I think it looks really cool, very unique, and it's just, it's fun. It's fun and unique. That's what I like about it. Also has some really pretty like vinyl trimming. The leather is stunning. I do believe Lachon likes to use suede rather than microfiber suede. $775 Canadian. So it's pretty expensive, but what you're getting in the bag is pretty damn worth it. And from what I do understand is like a lot of Lachon handbags are made in like the France, Italy region. So that's good. And just taking a nice quick look with my outfit. And I look bomb. And the bag looks bomb as well. The bag looks really good with my really nice looking all black outfit. And here we got a box trot in the extra small, I believe. Girl, I could not, I could not memorize all of the sizes Longchamp does. Because girl, we'd be here all day. But this box... Beautiful, beautiful yellow box trot is a stunning. It is like gag worthy. Look at it. I love the like frosted immaculate hardware. The hardware looks so good. It looks so high end. $730. So still quite a bit considering it is a size smaller than the box trot we just seen before it. I just love the hardware. I love the color and that alone, it does kind of make it worth it to me. I just love how it's like folded in and everything at the corners. It just looks really unique. It's like a classic like, it's a classic silhouette, but I really love how they designed it. And then here we got, like, the box trot little, like, clutch. Like, little clutch crossbody bag type of deal. Very small. But it was so, like, wrapped up fancily. I didn't really want to, like, unravel it, because, girl. And here we got another box trot, but in, like, the size large, I think this one is. Or the medium. I think this one's the medium, but I love the red. Girl, that's one thing that Longchamp does just excellently is color. Vibrant, beautiful color. They are just so good with it. And the leather is so high end and beautiful that you don't have to worry about it being like really cheap or anything like that. There you go. You got the suede inside. It is just a beauty, a beauty to behold. Also a beauty to behold on your wallet. <laughs> okay. 
a whopping $935. Canadian, of course. Very intense in the price range, but that bag is sickening. And it's a really, really good size. Like, a perfect size for me, personally. Here we got, like, the mailbox clutch or mailbox wristlet. Just try to struggle bus unzip it here. <laughs> Comes with, like, a really cool strap. I'm not a fan of the mailbox leather myself, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, $470 for, like, this crossbody clutch type of deal. Um, I will say I feel like that's a little expensive considering what you can get. But then again, when I'm, like, looking at the size and everything, I guess it kind of makes sense. But here we got, like, the whole mailbox top handle bag here. Like, the whole... The whole bag. <laughs> Not the little crossbody clutch, but like the full form, the full design. In a like a really nice color. Um, not my favorite color, but it's a nice color. Slate. Ooh. One thousand one hundred or no, was it one thousand ten dollars I think it said? I actually kinda like the slate color. The slate color looks kinda nice. I just think it's the leather finish itself that I don't like. Here we got the Le Pliage Filet and the Le Pliage Pien uh, the Le Pagnard Pliage. Oh my god. The names, ma'am. But I love, love the spring-summer vibes these bags give. They are just so, so cute. $110 for the orange clutch. Kind of cute. It does not come with a scarf. The scarf is separate. The scarves generally range, I think, um, between like a hundred bucks a piece, depending the size. Uh, the price is right here. One twenty-five, sorry, one hundred twenty-five dollars Canadian. And I just, I just love them. I love both. I mean, the the fillet less so, but I just love the 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 le, the le panier pliage. That is a tongue twister. But here we got the Le Foulon, the Le Foulon Extra Small Crossbody Bag. Comes with a beautiful chain strap. I love the chain strap, actually. Very, like, nice. Very substantial feeling. Didn't feel cheap. Felt good. Love the leather used as well. I just, mm, the Le Foulon line is really nice. It's very minimalistic. $260. Not a bad price, actually. For, like, a mainly leather tote bag, um, a little candle, like, a little carry-all. Love the vibe. And with the, like, little chain attached, it just looks so cute. Very affordable, in my opinion. At least for Longchamp. <laughs> and then here we got the Longchamp uh, Le Fluon, like, the full-size crossbody. Very stunning, thick thick leather used for like the straps very nice and I'm just in love with these colors very rich beautiful oranges and reds and yellows and like all of these handbags and I just love it I love summer colors sometimes sometimes <laughs> not all summer colors but $475 for this piece and I don't think that's bad either you can go for the smaller piece for an, a more affordable price, or you can upgrade and get a, like, 465 bucks. I really don't think that's bad. That's what I'm trying to say, really. And I just love how it's minimal hardware and, oh, sickening. Sickening orange. And they got, like, box trot wallets, box trot continental long wallets, rosé wallets, all of the small leather goods. But all of the small leather goods are kind of like locked away, if I'm not mistaken. So I was not bothering anybody. For anybody that does know me personally, uh, it is a pain, a serious pain to try and get footage in certain stores. Like some stores are really nasty to me. And I mean very nasty to me. So I just try not to like... Uh, I really try not to conversate while I'm trying to film because some people will just be like, no, you can't film in here. And just not really give me any type of general reason or 
they just make my life a lot harder than it needs to be. So I just try to stay clear of sale associates usually. But here we got a La Panure Pliage little carry-all uh, lunch pail piece, two ninety five. dollars Understandable. An understandable price, I would say. The straw, the leather, the beautiful embroidery on the straw. It, it, it makes sense. And this, this, uh, this 100% made in Italy scarf, $405. That is crazy. But it's 90 by 90. That's a really big scarf. So it makes sense that it's almost like half a thousand dollars. <laughs> and here we've got the rosé clutch. The rosé pink mock croc clutch. I love the shiny mock croc that um, Longchamp does. It's just so beautiful. And the clutch here is really pretty too. Got a beautiful pink hue. Gorgeous inside leather. Nice magnetic snaps. Removable chains. Very nice. Impeccable, impeccable stitching. $610 for the clutch, though. A little expensive for a clutch, but again, you're getting impeccable quality, and Longchamp just delivers with everything. Or almost everything, in my opinion. We'll see that some styles that hit outlet aren't, aren't always the greatest. Hence why they probably hit outlet. But quickly, we're going to just look at some more of the rosé small leather goods here. Got the card holder in the pink mock croc, of course. Very stunning. $110. In all honesty, that's not too bad. For like a cute little card holder. Um, other brands sell their card holders literally for the same price, if not more. So the fact that you can get one from Longchamp for the same price... Amazing. I like that. And generally speaking, Longchamp does like to make their stuff in France and Italy. So, love that. I think they stamp it as France. $280 for the Snap Wallet, though. Again, that's probably like the same price you would go for anywhere else, really. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, isn't like... My other brand that I cover a lot, don't they price their stuff similarly and, like, actually more expensive? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And this stuff is made in France, so, you know. But I know not all Longchamp bags are made in France, but it doesn't really matter too much when it comes to the brand because they are a really, really great brand. And let's quickly close off the retail boutique with some Le Pliage realness. All of the beautiful Le Pliages. The Le Pliage wall that is just iconic to every single Longchamp store. Just so beautifully put together. And all of these are full price. Sadly, they, don't, they didn't make it really available to just quickly grab the prices. So I didn't want to sit there and unfold all of them. So th any prices as like on the website or as we're going to quickly see in the Longchamp outlet near the end as well. We'll go through prices more then. But quickly, we do have some beautiful, beautiful Longchamp embossed bags here. For a beautiful discounted price at eight hundred and fifteen, regularly sixteen fifty, or eleven sixty fifty. Sorry, whatever you guys get what I mean. Eleven hundred sixty five dollars. Yeah, sorry. Oh my God, what is wrong with me, ma'am? It is late. These handbags here are called the uh, the. Le Voyage, the Le Voyage, I, I don't know how to say this one, Voyage, the Voyage bags, the Voyage line. <laughs> um, I hope I'm saying the line name more correctly. I'm probably not. I completely forget how the lady at the store was pronouncing it, but it looks really good with my outfit. It looks really beautiful. 
it c contains like multiple different styles. So like the one I just tried on was like a barrel bag. And then this one is like a massive like, like high fashion tote bag almost. Like a top handle tote. I actually really like these. These are very like biker-esque almost. Like very um punk. I love punk. And the leather on the inside was gorgeous too. Very expensive handbag though. Originally $15.85, now $11.10. So a pretty good discount. We're gonna notice that in the Lanchon outlets, they like to price their stuff around 20 to 30% off of like all of their goods. And the bags have feet. <laughs> We know in my feet obsession with handbags. I'm just kidding. I'm not that obsessed. But it's nice to see when a handbag has feet. Because, like, it's a additional attention to detail. And I like that. And then we also got the Voyager in this, like, uh, satchel type of deal. And what I like about it is that it you can, like, add a belt to it. Now, unfortunately, these bags don't come with a belt. The bags do not come with a belt, which I find a little annoying. Because what else would you add in those? Besides, like, your own belt? But, like, you'd have to have, like, a specific belt. And this bag is $870. Not bad. The bags are just beautiful. Like, I honestly really like them. And the inside has a nice black soft leather. And we're going to quickly look at, like, the really big one here. This one is massive. This thing is massive with a massive price tag of $3,200. $3,205 Canadian. But it's on sale for $2,244. So that is a really good discount. But these belt pieces here do cost, like, $200 a piece, give or take. Uh, yeah, the price is right here. $190. No discount. So we're going to notice that very few things in the La Shop outlet is going to be full price. Mainly the Le Pliage bags. Like the, uh, like the really heavy hitters. They also have a Le Pliage wall. So it's basically that. Like the classic colors have no discount. But we'll look into that soon. This bag just got a lot of room. I don't know what the hell you would use this bag for. But I mean if that's how you like it. And it's got the Made in France stamp on the strap. So that's cute. Not really, but it's Again cute. when I say this bag is big. It is really big. And it's giving Birkin vibes. It is giving me Birkin vibes with the added belt strap. But again I think that these bags... Because of the price points, they should just contain the belt, like the belt strap. Like, is are you really losing that much money? You're not losing any money, actually. <laughs> and then quickly look at the zip around compartmental wallet. Not bad. Some fun embossed pebbled leather. Has a big zipper pull with a nice thick stud. Like a double sided stud, so that's cool too. Quickly unzip it open. And it has some leather and fabric lining. $165 Canadian. Not bad. And then here we're going to be looking at some of the funky rosé bags. This is the Shearling Rosé bag with black leather trim. Oh, I love this bag. This bag was really cool. The Shearling was nice and plush and just nice and long. I like the really grown out, um, unshaven Shearling. But I do also like, like the really short, soft Shearling. It's just both have a different effect and I really, really appreciate both. Just pop it open. Uh, 
Originally $1,005 and now on sale for $705. Not bad at all. Comes with its uh, crossbody shoulder bag strap too. So not bad. Just quickly buckle it in. A nice easy buckle through or pull through, whatever you want to call it. And then here we got the rosé and a beautiful mock croc, a jade mock croc, actually. And a snap wallet that we actually just seen in pink. We just seen this in pink. But is there a, is there a price difference? I believe the pink said $265, if I'm not mistaken. So let's quickly just rummage through it a little bit. The exact same wallet, so it's not different. You're not getting an outlet quality. You're getting the exact same handbags. Unzip it to reveal the price. Two eighty. No, one eighty. Maybe it's one eighty. I think that might be one eighty because I, huh? Correct me if I'm getting the prices wrong, but I swear to God. Mama, hold one. Hold one. Let me let me backtrack just a little bit. Oh, it said 280 as well. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess they're both 280 for some reason. But nonetheless, let's look at the massive rose and a beautiful jade mock croc. I actually really like the jade color on this. It's really stunning. It's got the beautiful shiny mock croc. Uh, just a really, really stunning piece, really. 650 was 925. It also has its crossbody strap. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece, honestly. Like, I could just gush about Longchamp's bags for days. Like, the mock croc they do, uh, it's generally really good. Now, we're gonna... I think it's after this bag, we're going to see a bag that doesn't have good mock crop. But I think that just might be like, um, just that specific style, you know? But quickly, let's continue to look at the rosés and like this really neat color block and material block. So you got like a smooth leather, you got snake embossing, you got patent leather, and you got blue suede. You got everything. You got everything, including the kitchen sink. And including, like, this cute little, um... I'm unsure if it was, like, uh, detachable or not. I think it was, but... A cute little card holder. 500 plus. That's not bad. That's not bad. Really cute piece, actually. And then we got, like, this rosé little crossbody shoulder bag. Love the little snap there. Beautiful leather interior. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I love the black. The black looks sickening. $6.45, now $4.55. Not bad. $200 off. Honestly, if you can get to the Longchamp outlet, I highly recommend it. And then here we got the Rosé Essential. I think this is like the large rosé essential. Really love the leather used for this too. Just very stunning all around. Very soft leather. Gorgeous build. Gorgeous structure. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> Quickly unloop it, dig around for the price, and the price was $7.75, now $5.45. Not bad, not bad at all. Loop it back up, and move on to the next. See, this is where I was talking about the mock croc I don't like. It, there, it just doesn't look as nice, but I like this handbag. I like how it has, like, this really cool red stamp, like, red wax stamp almost, but I think it's metal. 
And then it's got like black and white snake embossing with studs. Sickening. And I love the La Chambre like hardware there. It's like very like unique looking. What's also unique is how you to open this. <laughs> I had a hard time. But don't worry, I figured it out. I figured this one out. And it has a beautiful interior as well. The flap has leather. Inside has uh, fabric. 750 was 1300 That is a good deal. All, just under $500 off. I think that's a really good deal. Beautiful, like, dark berry wine color interior. I mean, like, the mock rock's not that bad. I just feel like it looks a little cheaper compared to, like, the ones that we just seen. So that's why I don't like it as much. But nonetheless, it's gorgeous. And the leather is just really soft. You can never go wrong with anything Longchamp. And here we got a one-of-a-kind Toronto Longchamp. I mean, I don't think it's one-of-a-kind, but one-of-a-kind to Canada. Full price, $210 Canadian. Beautiful black cowhide trim. And it's got the cool little Toronto logo. Very interesting. I'm assuming you can only buy this in Toronto or like the Toronto region. Gotta rep Canada. <laughs> and then next up is this very interesting Le Pliage. Uh, this is a collaboration. Uh, this is a collaborative Le Pliage by Longchamp in Advisory Board Crystals has like this weird like tag on it. Girl, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it was interesting. $500 though, no discount. As I said, most of the La Pliages are full price. And then here we also got a rosé bag and like this really interesting material block punk style. It's got like lizard embossing. It's got suede. It's got leather. It's got patent leather. It's got everything. $865 was over $1,200. So a really good discount. And a handbag that we've seen from the previous, the retail boutique. It's the mailbox. It's the mailbox bags, you guys. Yes, right now you can get the absolute discount of nine forty. What, thirty percent off? We just seen these and they were full price at the Longchamp boutique. So yes, you can go to the outlet and you can get yourself some really cheap mailbox bags right now. That is a really good deal. Like, literally, didn't we just see that bag too? Like in the exact same color, girl, girl. We left some good discounts. $1,010, now $710. That's phenomenal. Especially considering they still have these in the retail store. The same colors too. What the hell? They have... <laughs> that to me is just crazy. But I mean, like, if you are available to get to a Longchamp outlet, this is an excellent time to do so. Again, with this bag, same price, $1,010, Struggle a bit trying to zip it up. The reason why I like to struggle and show you is because I like to show you guys the zipper glide and everything. And just, like, the manhandle ability. I know some people are probably like, oh, you don't have to, like, unzip everything or whatever, but... I like to unzip things. I like to unfold things. I like to get a good feel for what the product has to offer. Even if I am struggling a little bit. <laughs> the mailbox, uh, the mailbox wallet is 165 was 275 So that's a pretty steep discount as well. And speaking of discount. The Le Pliage handbags, like the iconic Le Pliage tote bags. We got some really beautiful, stunning colors. 
these ones here are 30% off. No, 20% off, sorry. Or no, I think that, that little bit there was 30% off. This wall here is 20% off. So here we're going to get a nice look at all of the prices of Le Pliages. Original and outlet. Now, anything that has a discount on it is like a, uh, a seasonal color. So that's why they're discounted. Now, beside this wall in the outlet, they had a whole wall of everything, basic, not everything, but they had all of the classic colors that we've seen in the retail boutique, but at full price as well. So you can go to the outlet. You can get some Le Pliage tote bags, the iconic pieces here for a good price but they are the really fun colors. Yes, thank you. A lot of these are a lot of fun. 180, now 144. 180, now 144 as well. 200, now 160. I think these are really good prices if you're able to get them there. People in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 four thousand, nine thousand. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's double feature shop with me to both the Longchamp Retail and a Longchamp Outlet. You'll notice that they are literally the exact same handbags. And so far, Longchamp does not produce anything made for Outlet, which is just phenomenal. Once a like handbag goes out of style at the Longchamp boutiques, they will send it to the Longchamp Outlet, which is... Good. I like to see that. It's like a real traditional outlet, not one of these new age outlets where like everything's cheaply made to be sold at a cheaper price, you know? But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's Alonchamp Retail versus Outlet video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or retail versus outlet for Alonchamp. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.